to make sure that we land safely together and pull in a collective minds from all the business and everything that's happening out there. At least for the next hour and a half, I'm going to land us in safely, collectively, um, through our karakia. So I'm saying that to tawa mai runga, to tawa mai raro, to tawa mai roto, to tawa mai waho, ya taua i te maritu, te mauri ora, ki te katoa, haumi e hui e tai ki. So simply what I ask is I summon all that awesomeness, all that goodness above, below, within and without and bring it all together, all that collective energy to settle within me, to share collectively with us today. So kia ora rai te whānau. Tuatahi, me e tikana ka tuka te au i tō tātou mihi ki tō tātou matua nui i te rangi, ka tau i homai ana mana ki tangi rungi a tātou. A tēnā ki ngā mate, kuhua o te wā, Haere, haere, moi mai rā. Nga re, kia huri atu ki te tino i tēnei wā, ko koutou aku whetu, te tino i tēnei kaupapa, nau mai, haere mai, tau mai rā. And very succinctly saying in my um, beautiful native um, um, reo there, I, I extend a very warm welcome to you all. It's great to have you back with us. So if you're new to this space, no mai, haere mai, but if you're old hand, um, trooper that normally joins us every month is always a rungi te aro maha no mai hoki mai. Um, today, um, ko tāna te whiu tō ku ingoa, um, no te tai toki rāhau, so how from the north, and I work within um, the co-design lab that's housed within um, Auckland Council. And joining me today, also got the A-team with me, um, acting as my parirau on my wings. I have the lovely Lee Ryan there who's working furiously in the background turning people into um, the space. And also we've even got our B, our Baruch back with us, joining us um, today. And it's a great pleasure to welcome you all into the space. Um, and saying that, again, every month we have the privilege of hosting the Practice Foundations and we get to um, surface up and get to share some of the magic that's happening within our communities and across Aotearoa and from our Hotu Waka, from our Fire Debs, those in-between spaces with evaluation. We had the lovely Fire Kororia showing the practical impl implementation of Matariki and how to take some of those practices for ourselves and continue on those practices um, into the new year or Matariki next year into the fabulous Mike Puru, uh, apologies, Mike Tipine, who had an amazing quarter about Whakapapa Walks. Again, keeping up that awesome momentum, we've also got an amazing kai kōrero that I'll be introducing um, very, sh um, very soon. Um, so what happens again, particularly today, really excited about today's session um, about Te Toko Toru, again, which we're sharing there, it's a systems approach um, towards wellbeing. Um, and it's been developed along our whānau and our rangatahi. And what's great about it, it allows us to start a different starting point for design and investing in equity, as well as intergenerational wellbeing. What's also great um, about what we're sharing here is that Tokotoru has been uplifted into first time ever in Aotearoa, the national strategy for the elimination of family violence and sexual violence. And, but overall, being able to share this scope of Te Tokotoru today, I'm really excited about being able to do that with you all. Um, and saying that, um, we're going to head into our very first um, session, breakout session. So it's all about the whanaunga tanga um, today, ehua, as always to um, kick us off. So what happens is before we head um, to set you up heading into the first breakouts to extend our whanaunga tanga, um, if, we, if I could ask that you take this question with you to set the scene for our kaupapa, also in kaupapa today. So as if you could think about how does a word or practice of healing show up in your mahi? Is it visible? And if it is, in what ways? And if not, why not? Um, don't worry, Lee's going to also drop that pāpai into our chat. Um, very shortly, um, just so you can take the, um, the thinking with you surrounding that pathway. And while you're also in there, please take the opportunity to introduce yourself to others and where you come from. Kapai, tēnā rawati te whānau, and I'll see you back shortly. Uh, tēnā rawati 
Koutou anō e te whānau. Now, it's my greatest pleasure. We're going to actually jump dive right into the ngako, the meat of our kaupapa today. So in saying that, I have the absolute pleasure um, to do, introduce our guest speaker for today. Uh, no te maunga whakahi o uh, tuna maunga tūpuna. Um, also being the kai tuhu tuhu uh, mana whenua in our co-design lab. It's my absolute pleasure to introduce our uh, Anti Tangaidi, Tina Rawatikwe Tituakana. A uh, tena kwe tona a tuata hihi mehi kia kwe moto karakia miti mehi mehi otiata um nga mehi nga mehi nga mehi kiora kiora um koto um kuhikirangi timanga kuwa puti awa konga ti praitiwi um e tuwa kiti manga a uh, hikirangi a uh, nga mehi kia koto um. Ko Angie Tangaria Hai ko au uh, te kaitohu tangata whenua of the Auckland Co-Design Lab. Hōrena i te whānau, um, what a pleasure to be online with you this morning and to um, do some sharing um, about te toko, uh, te toko toru um, this morning. Um, I'm just trying to fix my view so I can see all of you guys. Lovely to have this opportunity um, to share. I'll just tell you how I was hoping um, the, the process uh, would go this morning, and that is we'd really love to share the whakapapa of Te Tukotoru with you, and then we'd really like to uh, facilitate some activities where you're engaging with um, Te Tukotoru as a framework and as a, a systems change tool. Just want you fellas to know that it's a safe place to do some sharing and to do some learning and do some, do some trying because what we know now is that um, the system change stuff's hard and, we're, and the only way that we're going to be able to do it is together and to learn our way into it. The first thing I want to say is I want to acknowledge all of the amazing mahi that you're all doing already um, and that we we don't, wouldn't say that we're experts in, in uh, system change, but we would like to uh, offer the sharing in, with an intention of better outcomes for our whanau. Um, so I'm going to talk through the whakapapa and then we're going to have a go at using the, um, the framework itself. Now, I think one of my amazing colleagues is going uh, is going to share the slides as I, I talk to you guys, and um, that's because I need to see your faces in case I'm completely confusing you or you've fallen asleep. Um, so just a little bit about Te Toko Toru. Um, we would describe it as, um, I'm just gonna get my notes up. We would describe it as uh, as an approach to wellbeing, but um, also a, a system to change framework and tool that helps us to start differently and think differently. And that helps us to reorientate our focus, our effort, and maybe our, our resources towards what Fano identify as supporting their well-being in place. So I think some of the information was sent out to you, but um, Te Tokotoru uh, is, is a framework, a well-being framework that was it was created based on some of the amazing Fano and Rangatahi insights and innovation. Um, processes uh, predominantly here in South Auckland. So it was created um, to acknowledge the power of, of Fano and Rangatahi voice and their ability to lead innovation with systems change in mind. So it sits um, with, um, inside of the um, National um, Prevention Strategy for Family and Sexual Violence, but as a wellbeing um, approach. So Te Rere Aukura is where it sits. And what I just like to share with you is um, how the the how it was created, the whakapapa of it, um, because we think that's really important in terms of uh, an approach uh, that that focuses on Fano Fano lived experience and Fano leadership. We can go to the next slide if that's okay. Um, just a couple of opening comments as a, in terms of context that as a framework, it, it's part of our, a wider approach for us um, that focuses on how we reconceptualize power for equity. So how are we sharing power and control and how are we collapsing the distance between centralized power and those experiencing the most inequity? Um, we talk about how we're reverse engineering current constructs and processes that hold power in a, in a traditionally and colonial, um, traditional and colonial way. 
So we like to think that we're um, reverse engineering by starting in place, not with system and centralized power. And we like to think we um, are, are starting differently by thinking differently about who can lead um, the innovation processes that support system change. And for us, that is, um, that's whānau in place. So it's about starting in a different place and helping us to think differently so that we can shift towards just different ways of enabling um, well-being. So can we go to the next slide? Just a little bit about us. I think you guys probably know, though, um, you know, our work at the Southern Initiative in the lab really is about demonstrating the um, compelling alternatives to the status quo. Um, we know that if we carry on doing what we're doing, then um, inequity will increase. So our job is to really um, think about what do we do differently and how do we do differently? How do we do it differently and how we learn differently with different results? Can we go to the next slide, please? Um, here's the real stars of the show. These are some of the whānau we've been working alongside in South Auckland, he whānau, whānau, we papakura. Just want to acknowledge all of their uh, experience and input to the mahi. Um, and I'm just going to tell you quickly about some of the insights that, and um, another time perhaps I can talk about their prototypes and their innovation, but um, this, this, this whānau innovation group helped us to um, draw on some amazing, incredible whānau insights that um, uh, sit at the heart of Te Tokotoru. Next slide, please. So the first one is, uh, our whānau was saying, we know, we know it's really important in the first thousand days to support our tamariki, but um, I need a whole lot of healing and I need you to support me to heal so I can be best for my children. That healing, um, needs to be in my context and I need to be able to determine what that healing looks like. And that healing might not necessarily be interventions, uh, medical or other, it might be opportunities to learn, opportunities to connect, opportunities to make new friends, opportunities to build my social capital, opportunities to lead, to make a contribution to my community. So I wanna do some healing, but I wanna do it in my own way. Um, that helps us to think about how we create the um, spaces for that to happen for, for our whānau. Next slide, please. The second is that some whānau are socially isolating and seeing that as a protective factor, seeing it as the only way that they can express their autonomy, their rangatiratanga. So um, if whānau are feeling that's the only way they have control in their lives, um, no amount of intensive um, service wraparound or um, visiting is going to help. Um, they're, they're, they will continue to um, isolate themselves. So this is this is a, a really good provocation for us in terms of um, thinking about what's the invitation that we need to extend and who needs to extend that um, for whānau to come back into relationship and trust. Next one, please, team. Uh, while some whānau are isolating, um, some whānau are building out their own whānau network because they don't have whānau support. So both are true, whānau are isolating, but other whānau are creating um, networks of support for themselves and their community through marae, through sports clubs, and um, in different types of groups. So if that both are true, then how might the whānau who are connecting and building networks uh, connect in a way that's... Um, uh, appropriate for the whānau who are isolating themselves. And the last one is connection to place. Um, next slide, please. Connection to place and connection to identity is critical. For whānau, whānau wanting to connect to who they are and to where they are. Um, so those were the um, those are examples of uh, insights that Te Tokotoru um, it was built upon. And we're really grateful to have worked with Fana to be able to do that. Next slide, please. Um, and at the same time, what we were noticing was that there is an existing ecology of well-being in place, um, which is uh, working to keep Fano well. It's social and cultural infrastructure that we don't necessarily value. So we were recognizing whānau were telling us, this is, this is what works for me in place to keep me well. Um, there's a whole lot of things that, we're, um, that are in place, but not necessarily resourced or not, not necessarily valued um, by system. Can we go to the next slide, please? Don't worry, um, Etifana, you're gonna get um, all of these slides. There's a lot in here. 
Um, so we're recognising that whānau are very clear about what supports wellbeing in place and what that might even look like in place. And we're, we're recognising the power of um, an existing ecology of wellbeing in place. And that was great and there were some great insights, but what we needed to do is to translate that into something that would help us think about how we do the shifting or how we enable the conditions for systems change that can reorientate itself towards what whānau are telling us, keep them well in place. And so that was the, the beginning of trying to understand what, what kind of framework thinking or approach could help us draw on this amazing uh, whānau um, experience and learning and help us figure out how we translate, tra translate that into system change for impact. And so we started to think about these three core ideas. The first is that for the, at the moment, and, you, and you'll all be aware, um, a lot of what we're doing is responding. We're responding to problems, we're responding to crisis. It's the nature of how we develop um, programs and services and interventions. So we're doing a whole lot of stuff around that stuff. Um, but what we might wanna push out into, can we go to the next one, please? What we might want to think about based on what whānau are telling us is, well, how might we start to support healing um, in a way that whānau are able to determine what that looks like? And how might we start building on um, what's already working well in place, but might not necessarily be a service or, or an intervention or a program? So that was the start of us thinking about well, how do these things, how are these things connected and interrelated? And how do we understand where we are in relation to them now? And how might we shift out towards healing and strengthening if whānau are telling us that's what's going to support their well-being in place? What's the next slide, please? Um, and, and so healing and strengthening um, will look um will need to look like what whānau are expressing in place. But what we were trying to use this, this framework to do was to think about, well, how do we support systems change responding in a way that starts to help us to think and do differently to support strengthening um, and, and healing in place? Cool, thanks, Donna, we can just stay there. That is a whirlwind to a iti whānau of Te Tokotoru and I'm just going to double check we, what we'd like to do now. I'm just going to double check the, the timing. What we'd like to do now is we would like you guys to engage with this framework. And in a moment, what we're going to get you to do is we're going to go into our, our middle board and we'll give you some instructions. But what we'd like you to think about and reflect on is in your work, um, you can think about it as your work, your immediate work, your program, or whatever you're doing, your immediate efforts, or you can think about it as an organization. It's whatever suits you. In your work, where would you locate your effort, your work, or your organization in terms of a space on te tokotoru? There's no wrong or right answer here. Um, the the object, objective is for just for you to start to think about what what your efforts look like in relation to strengthening and healing and responding you might think that you are in multiple places and that's fine um, but what we want you to think about is um, where would you locate um, your efforts in relation to those three circles and you can determine whether that's your own work or your organization um, predominantly and you can also put multiple post-its on onto te tokotoru if you want to. It, as I say, this is a safe learning space. The, the objective of this activity is for you to engage with the concepts and for you to think about that in your context. So I think I'm gonna hand it to Baruk to help us get into the middle board, look at te tokotoru and maybe give us some hints about how we move around in the end. I'm really loving the decontemplative thinking going around, watching everybody walking around, working around the board, thinking about where their mahi or the effort sit. Does it sit in the portal, what we have on the side there healing? Or is it underneath the strengthening or responding? So again, just grab a post-it where you think your mahi sits. As Angie said, it could be multiple spaces. 
and then pop it onto the bigger diagram in the center there. What also was picked up with um, Lee and popped in as a comment in the chat there. If you're having trouble um, use, utilizing metal, you have got your anahira, your angels in the background that can pick up, feel free to drop your kōrero into chat and we'll be able to pick that up. So you're part of that conversation and add it to the kōrero of the collective. Kia ora. Kapai, thanks Donna. And I'm um, sorry if I wasn't um, clear, but what we're wanting you to put right on the post-it is what the work or the program or the organisation is as you're putting it onto the onto the Kitokotoru diagram. So writing what what the effort is, the program initiative, or the organisation is then um, as you're placing it on the on Te Tokotoru. Kia ora te whana, we'll come back together as a, a rōpū now. Heaps of um, heaps of stuff, and and quite quite evenly spread, more evenly spread than we usually have, which is really cool. Um, the the point of the exercise is that um. We're often um, designing or implementing or operationalizing things that are predominantly in the responding um, circles. So this is a useful thing to th uh, this is a useful way of thinking where where we might be in relation to the other two um, uh, if at all. And then for some of you, you're already in those spaces. So that's really cool. Um, what we're going to get you to do now is in a moment we're going to pop you into some smaller groups. And we're hoping that when you go into the uh, the smaller groups, you'll introduce yourselves and then talk to each other about why you might have uh, located your post-its where you have. So a conversation um, about um, or 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 a rationale uh, about why you've located or place the post-its on Te Tokotoru and you guys can talk about that as a smaller group. Again, there's no wrong or right answer here. It's about having a conversation about how you see the mahi in, in relation to um, strengthening, healing and responding. Um, so I'll leave it to the guru, 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 tech gurus, tech magicians to pop you guys into, into groups and introduce yourselves and have a chat about where your post-its are on Te Tokotoru. Oh, kia ora, kia ora no te um, hope you guys had a, an opportunity to have a good conversation with um, your rōpū. Uh, just some observations I can see going up on the board there that um, there's a whole heap of really cool work happening around um, strengthening voice, uh, connecting to culture, connecting to place well-being approaches so that's really um, amazing to see and just uh, going to open the floor for anybody who'd like to um, share some observations based on the conversation you've just had. If communities and whānau know what they need in place then how are we in a, how are we building the capabilities within system to not ruin that? <laughs> <laughs> to leave it alone, um, to enable it, not to try and um, control it, box it. Um, so that's that's a big part mm -hmm. of the work, right, is to understand what what's the capabilities and the conditions that we need to build inside of system that is going to enable what already works, um, well-being approaches, um, infrastructure that's already, um, social and cultural infrastructure that's already working well for whānau in place. So Let's take a minute to think about that. We're going to ask you now. I think some of us are having some issues with medals, so we're going to do the second part a little bit differently. We're going to show you the board, and you can go into medal if you're navigating it um, with, without any issues, or we're going to have a conversation about this, and then you can drop... Um, um, oh, well, I have a chat about this and then you can drop your thoughts into chat. But that's a really great um, example of us knowing what what the shifting or what we need to be doing um, is, but not knowing the how and how to lean into it, how to learn and to build the, um, the capability of it. So what I'd like you to reflect on now is of all the shifts we're being asked to do at a systems level, whether that's go to strength-based well-being models, whānau-centred, et cetera, 
most of those shifts are pretty clear now. Um, so along, you know, we're mandated to do a whole lot of things differently now in most instances, but we're not sure about how what we need to do to get there. So we the thing that is cool about it is that if we're thinking about we want to do more things in the strengthening and the healing then what are the capabilities that we need to build to do that and so we've just got a little example inside the middle board here for you to reflect on um, what are the types of capabilities and conditions that are going to help us do the shifting so if we want to do more of what Bano and community already tell us work what are the types of mindsets skills what are the knowledge systems that we're drawn? What are the types of roles that we'd need? And what is the resourcing that we would need to move towards doing more of what Farno tell us matters? So we're just gonna give you some time to reflect on that. And you can go into the board and you can um, pop your thoughts on the post-its underneath the categories. You, can, you might think of other things as well, not in these categories, that's fine too. These are just prompts. So go into the board, think about what you, you you think we need to enable the conditions for system ch systems change towards what Fano tells us matter, um, or if you're having trouble with the, the the board itself, you can just drop your your thoughts into the chat. Kia ora, De Fano. We'll come back for a bit of a chat together. Some really cool stuff being um, identified on the post-its, but also some great comments in, in the chat as well. So you can see, um, you can see how Te Tokotoru can help us start in a different place. So to start with um, Fano voice, with lived experience, with Fano um, expertise, um, and, and for um, it to help us think beyond responding or think beyond services. Um, and then how it helps us to think about um, if we're wanting to shift out into strengthening and healing or to what Fano are telling us matters, then what are the types of system capabilities that we need to be building um, to enable um, the conditions for well-being in place, according to Fano? Just notice some, um, some themes around there in terms of uh, mindsets and power um, and practice, but just wanting to open the, the floor for anybody to um, share some observations. Hand it back to... Um, this meeting oh. is being recorded. Paul, should I be careful what I say now? The recording's back on. Um, I'll just make a couple of closing um, comments um, and um, then I'll hand it back to the to the Tokana to close, but we, we didn't have um yeah you, you got you got seven years of work in 15 minutes at Tefano so it was a very fast uh, tour of Te Tokotoru and it's and it's uh whakapapa. and I just want to say that I've um I showed you some of the insights from here Fano Fanui, but that wasn't they're not the only Fano or Rangatahi group or the only insight um um that was drawn um upon for to create um, Te Tokotoru. It's drawn across um, several um, existing pieces of work as well as um, contemporary whānau voice, rangatahi and whānau voice. Just wanted to um, tell you guys about that. We, weren't, we didn't get to it today, but you guys are already in the practice. So you know the real work is not where we're going to, it's how we build the capability and system, how we reframe what value is, what commissioning models look like, or how do we like, how do we, um, create fundamentally different ways of thinking and responding, which are look look really different to the things that we're already already doing now. And that's that's the real work and, and, and for a whole heap of the stuff that we're doing, a lot of that at the heart of that's mindset and leadership. Um, and how do you have those conversations inside of systems that are so hierarchical and power power based? It's 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 really hard work. But keep up the good work, Etifano. What we would usually do is that we would use Te Tokotoru to do exactly what we're doing with you guys for people to sort of orientate themselves to it. Think about how they might think differently about what they're currently doing. Think about what the capabilities are that they need to build to do those things differently, and then put some really um, 
um, some, some strategies in place to go about building those, those capabilities. And sometimes we're going to have to do that in a, in a, a, in a really different way um, than we've been trained or we're experienced um, in, in system. And I just wanted to give you guys a, an example of with some of the teams we're working with who are trying to reorientate themselves as well. Um, and it's about the sphere of influence, I think, Jacinta, you're saying is that, how am I showing up in, in this work? So a lot of this work is actually people understanding what their personal bias or privilege is in the system and understanding that as part of the wider system, because it's so easy for us to say it's a systems problem, it's a systems change challenge, and it's got, you know, it's not me, it's a system, that's the problem. But one of the most powerful things I, I think um, that I've seen Te Tokotoru help people do is for them to have some self-awareness about how they're showing up to the work, their own mindset. Um, Thank you so much. Um, I hope that was useful. There are links um, that you can have a little look at. Penny's just dropped into the chat, but also on the Auckland Co-Design Lab website if you want to do a bit more reading about Te Tokotoru and other thing, other strategies um, that have emerged and um, that have been, uh, that have Fano voice and Fano innovation at the heart of them, you can jump onto our website. Um, nō reira i tiwi, uh, ngā mihi, uh, Ite tuakana dona. Oh, kira rawa tukui te tuakana a Angie no matau te fifi, a uh, no matau te hono le nui te hakaronga te kia koe me au korero katoa, a uh, ka kore te nei puna mihi e me me te kia koe ite tuakana kai te mihi, kai te mihi, kai te mihi. A uh, kira rawa ite pano as the tuakana Angie picked up there. There was a very well wind um, te tukotoru session. Um, but again, still amazing corridor in there. And as the tour kind of picked up, there are other links that you can take your leisure and time in to delve more into this um, corridor and other um, resources that we have available on our website. Um, but added to that, um, I'm before I carry on, as I noticed a quick comment there from Penny in the um, chat that says, let's, let's, uh, next year, let's do a session on indicators and what it looks like to value difference differently, lots of good work in government happening on that too. And what does it look alive in community? I've got to be honest, it distracted me. It's like, yes! And the rebel in me came out roaring to the foreground. I was like, yes, let's do that before Christmas. Let's rock this. But I was like, no, Taihua, wait up. Because we've got this awesome session in front of us at Tokotoru. So in saying that, to be honest, I'm stepping out really inspired and full of hope. Because what I love about Te Tokotoru within the framework, it, um, the simplicity allows you to really delve in deep and really delve into the complexity and start having those conversations. So what I like about this, with, especially with what all of you, what you shared today, going back to what Dickie said, the modi, you have a certain modi that you have in, that you input in within the work and what you influence there whether it be with our whānau and communities, whether it be a system change maker. Again, we got to connect very briefly today and start delving in together to tackle that complexity. Um, big mihi also um, following on from what the Tua Kanaenji said there to Nishwa. Again, ngā tino mihi ki koutou and your rōpū with te aurere kura and knowing that um, the privilege of having te tokotoru and all the work in the whānau that helps shape it. Um, Nisa do within there and that strategy, again, to make that bigger move. And it's just, Mo te whānau, mo te hapu, mo te iwi, mo ngā hāpuri. Okay, in a thriving Aotearoa. So in saying that, um, kia tūkuna tēnei kōrero katoa i runga i ngā ararau o tāwhiri, kia rere, kā tū, kā tau, kā tau. Be safe out there, everybody. And we look forward to seeing you in our last session for this year for Practice Foundations um, next month in November. Hei konara. Kakite te whānau.